give you guys a little walk around of underneath the car while it's over here at BB Classic. Let's show the exhaust. Tucked with a nice little 45. The Fab 9 fabricated rear axle. It's all trust. And like I said, the rear sway bar is integrated into the axle, the sway bar pads. And you've got your adjustable shocks. Backside of the wheel wood brakes. Again, this is a fabricated nine inch from Chris Austin's Chassis Works and it's running a 390 gear with a wave lock posi unit in it. And it has 35 spline axle shafts in it. There's the third member right there. Venom 250 mufflers by Black Widow Exhaust. And then the two and a half inch stainless exhaust piping with X pipe in it. Right here you'll see the E stop. It's an electronic actuated emergency brake. So that's gonna control your emergency brake instead of using the foot control. Speedtech lower control arms with Speedtech upper control arms. Viking coilovers. The AFX spindles with the steering arm. You'll see the Detroit Speed sway bar. Spline style sway bar. And then those links right there were custom made it together. So the top is gonna be Detroit Speed. The bottom is gonna be something custom. Um, to work with the lower control arm. Like don't, the Detroit Speed sway bar does not bolt straight in. Lower balance. It's off of a 67, 68 Camaro. And then you'll see there's like a little bit of a, there's a sheet metal right there. You can see it right there, that seam right in between there. That's what bolts the lower valance to the bumper since the angle doesn't match the bumper on the bottom side exactly perfect. So that fills in that gap right there in between. 